Welcome back to the final part of the six o'clock show. Chef Sham is in the kitchen. Sham, can you remind us what you're making tonight? I'm going to make a black pepper and soy duck with a bit of warm sticky rice and sesame soy dressing. Oh, okay. lovely. A little bit, little bit of uh, oh, Asian flavor rice. there. Nice one. This is one of the, the famous dish in our restaurant. As yeah. well, since we reopen hopefully soon. And anyway, so I started. How are you off... doing? Are you doing all right? Yeah, yeah, it's good. Yeah. You know, it's good. Be... Do you have outdoor dining going on? Not in the cottage or no. Buffalo Boy, but the cafe. Keep us the cafe you do? Yeah, keep us going. Weather permitting. Well, I know. Oh, yeah. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> we in Ireland, so. <laughs> well, you're hoping. Hoping. You're hoping, hoping that soon you can get oh, it all yeah, done. Hopefully. July 5th is. July 5th. And then when it does happen, the reopening, all run to Sham's restaurant, okay? Let's, <laughs> yeah, let's please, all please. please. Yeah. Social and order this. Distance. Show, order. Socially distanced. Socially distanced. Socially distanced, right. So I use a lovely uh, Tonhill duck from Black Lion. Yeah. Ken Moffat. Lovely man. Good quality duck. So I. Uh, I basically debone them, take the breast off, yep. I score them a little bit. Okay. Okay, so I just put it on, on the pan, cold pan, not hot pan. Cold pan. Cold pan. Okay. And then you turn it up the heat slowly. What? Well, why? Because if you put into the hot pan, the fat will go shock straight away. Oh, okay. So right. if, you, if you're allowing the uh, cold pan heat it up slowly, it will cook the fat slowly, it will render down the fat slowly. You see that now, there's no oil in it. So I turn it up the pan, yeah. bit by bit and then let it gonna start splashing okay. and not even oil in it. Okay. Well, so the, leave it there. And the, the, there's a lot of fat in, a, in duck anyway. Exactly. So, so you don't need any oil juice. or anything at all to fry it off. Just leave it the way it is and let it sear it up. Okay. A bit of salt into it. So while that's searing away, I'm gonna do a little bit of uh, rice. So basically I use, there's so many types of sticky rice you can use. I use this Japanese rice, the, the one that they use to make sushi. Okay. Okay, so basically, yeah. I don't call it sushi rice because when we call sushi rice, people associate fish straight away with it. Right. Okay, <laughs> you know, so, gotcha. yeah, so I turn it one up a bit. So just put a, a cup of rice here, a cup of water, bring it to boil the same way as you're cooking rice. Yeah. Don't worry, I have that cooked earlier, so don't worry about that. So that's bring it to cook. When it's cooked, you add vinegar into it. When it's cooked, you, add, you can add now as well, vinegar, a bit of sugar. So it's give that sweet, yeah. vinegary, yeah. salty flavor, That's which is the, usually the one you get in a Japanese cooking, you know, so the, the sushi rice yeah. and a bit of salt into it. So you mix it in there, bring it to boil. So you can rice. see that the, 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 it starts coming out there nicely. I turn it out a little bit higher now. Mm -hmm. We always sear off our duck breast, score them up on a cold pan. Let it go nicely and you can see that. So you see that, see the fat coming out there already? Yeah. Okay, so while that's searing away, I have a marinade that I make. I did this before, it's just my grandmother recipe, which is four ingredients that's always in my memories for the rest of my life, yeah. and I use it all the time in my cooking. Black pepper, sugar, soy sauce, and garlic. Okay. Four okay. ingredients, mix into it, you get sweet, saltiness, garlicky, and pepper. And you would use this in loads of different recipes, Absolutely. loads of different things. Absolutely, all the time. Yeah. It's, it's the Thai side of me. Yeah. You know, so that's, you see that now, you see the amount of fat coming out there? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that, and then I'm gonna use that little and sear it up. I'm gonna marinate that and cook it in the oven. Okay. For medium rare, you probably around seven, eight minutes. If you want to cook more, you can leave it on around ten minutes. You know, medium well, well. In the done. oven. In the oven. Yeah. At 180. Okay. Yeah. You can see that start splashing. See that? Okay. Start God, splashing. that fat does render very quickly, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. So there, I'm gonna turn it down a little bit, so because I have one already earlier. Now I'm gonna make the dressing. So obviously, they have a pan here that we're going on here. Very simple, everything into it. Ginger, sesame oil. So basically this can be kept in the fridge. If you, have, you can pre made this as well if you want. Okay. okay? And uh, sweet soy sauce. Right. Honey. You need honey instead of sugar. Okay. And then spring onion. Lovely. I have all these ingredients into it because, again, this nice umami flavor into it. Okay, so that's that. Then I have that stirred away. I'm going to sear off this duck press. See that? I'm going to turn it up because it starts splashing otherwise. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so that's all you want. This one mixed into the way. So is and that where you want it to? And then you're like, we can go into the oven. Yeah, once that you crispy, like people say, oh, he put the, the marinade into it and going to make the skin soggy. No. Because the black pepper and the soy sauce and everything caramelize it in the oven. Yeah. Okay, oh. so that's it. I turn this one off. Put, dip it in a little bit like that. And usually you call it black pepper, you want to marinate it. Don't worry about that. That's in here. 
like that. Okay. Dip it in because it's strong. The soy sauce itself is salty. Yeah. The sweetness of black pepper, it will caramelize. Trust me, it will caramelize. And you notice the flavor is there. You know, yeah. and it's a good dock as well. You don't want to overpower with so many ingredients. Exactly. You know, when the exactly. producers. Yeah. Dock. Exactly. Mm -hmm. When the farmers do the hard work, don't ruin it. That's the duck that I have. You can see that they're coming out there. Wow. You right. know, it's nice. This is what I just did here earlier beforehand, and it's been rested. Okay, so we How have... How long would you rest it for after it's... If, if you, like, people say, oh, no, the duck's going to go cold. It's the same as rest, resting chicken or anything like that. If you're afraid of go cold, get a bit of tin foil, cover it up. The heat rise, the foil will stop it go cold. Yeah. yeah. You know, so that's what we have. And I'm going to throw a bit of a beetroot just for garnish to make it nice. Oh, no. A bit of cabbage into it, just the way it is. I'm not going to do too much. People say, oh, cabbage, would you not boil them first? I say, no, if we boil them off, it's just taking away the colour. A bit so of butter. Do, do them and the juices of the dock. Yes, exactly. Use the same pan, the flavour into it. And a bit of salt. And that's it. You know, just, just we let the dock rest. You see that? I like this brown colour on the cabbage because that's the flavour. Yeah. You know, now brown, which is not overcooked brown, it's kind of seared. You know, we're so used to barbecue uh, burnt cabbage or <laughs> brown burnt cabbage. You know, so that's there. <laughs> You know, like I, I always say to them, the cabbage is green. Don't change the colour. <laughs> Sometimes you got, you know, like baking a cabbage too especially. True. <laughs> too you know. True. So I put the sauce I already prepared earlier. A bit of the soy ginger dressing. Lovely. Okay, now this is the stage we only just gonna decorate them up a little bit to make it nice and beautiful. The beetroot itself, already cook them with a bit of vinegar and sugar. That's a green. You'd okay. already done the beetroot, a bit of vinegar and sugar. Yeah, beginning you should go, you can roast it the way it is if you want. Okay. You know, so that's there. And I take out the rice that I have in here earlier. That's already cooked. So if you have left all of this rice, let's say, cool down, you can use it to roll sushi afterward as well. Okay. There you and go. All into it, all into it, you know? Yeah. And usually you see Asian cooking, there'll be a lot of rice. So I'm gonna put a little bit, make it nice, presentable, a little bit. We eat with our eyes these days, so we just have to make it nice. A bit of sesame seed. And then we're gonna cut the dog's breast into half. Nice pink, the way I like it. In the middle of here. Again, as you said, wow. if you want to keep it in the oven for longer, seven to eight minutes for medium, ten medium. minutes for, yeah. Exactly, the way you, like I say, whatever way you like it, don't worry about it, and you just drizzle a little bit more on it. And you know oh, what? Sham. Okay. That's amazing. Look at that. Sham. Sham and Ifa. Brilliant. That is so good. Um, now, we'll, we're, uh, you can see it all back and we'll put all the details up. But uh, Jennifer texting, we were asking about getting up on stage. When I was 14, Green Day brought me on stage to play with them. It's incredible. After the show, they gave me the guitar and even signed it backstage. Uh, Jennifer, that's class. Alex texted in. When you hear this, we went to see Garth Brooks in the point. My sister fainted, got taken backstage by security. I got pulled up on stage by Garth. He gave me his guitar. My sister never forgave me. <laughs> well done, Come Alex. on, she must have seen <laughs> it on so video. Good. Garth Brooks. Um, that's that's amazing. Got time for this evening. A huge thank you to all of our guests, Rachel uh, Blackmore, Joe McEldry, uh, Jason Byrne for joining us, and of course, to Sham for this fantastic Great. dinner. Thank <laughs> you, Sham. Uh, there's some unmissable TV coming up tonight, so make sure you stay tuned for In Runes, Donegal's Micah Scandal at 7.30. And later at 9, we have the big interview on Taoiseach Micheál Martin chatting with Claire Brock. It's all on Virgin Media 1. I'll be back tomorrow with Ray Foley, where we're joined by Strictly Come Dancing star Jeanette uh, Manrara. I hope I said that right. Uh, until then, stay safe and we'll see you tomorrow. We hope you have a lovely night. Touch Take care. Bye-bye.